Steven has a neck, the internet's never gonna let it go, so become part of the Net Gang, designed by Nikki the Imaginative Artist. And yes, purchasing will help support her as she does get a cut. Join the Net Gang today, and check out some of our other designs. Link in the description. Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and by this point in Steven Universe, every major gem in the series has received a reformation. Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, Peridot, Lapis, Bismuth, and another one in the movie with her new overalls, even Jasper, having a brand new getup by the end of Change Your Mind. Now a mostly uncorrupted being, although she has her scars. Scars that in my opinion, only make her look cooler. We can even view Steven's new outfit and growth spurt, hashtag net gang, as a reformation of his own. Yet there are some very important characters who are left out of this party. Three actually, the Great Diamond Authority, Yellow Diamond, Blue Diamond, and and White Diamond. This trio have been snubbed of a brand new look, and thematically, they truly do need one. So let's go over why we'll likely get this in Steve Universe the movie, the significance behind it, and even take some guesses on what these reformations could look like. And spoiler warning in case you're trying to steer clear of anything related to the movie. Kicking things off, let's address the obvious. For the diamonds to reform, they would need to get poofed, right? Correct! And this is a plot point that feels guaranteed for the movie. Something for this brand new antagonist, alongside any other enemies that could pop up in the series future, is that there needs to be a reason why the diamonds are involved. Why they can't just walk right in and poof the gem. And personally, I think the only way to truly add stakes would be for the diamonds to be taken out and poofed. Obviously, in the moment, that alone would be crazy. The diamonds have never been poofed before. When all the crystal gems came at Blue Diamond one by one and smashed her ship on top of her, she still got back on her feet unfazed. So what better way for this new gem to really make an impression than to take out not just blue, but also yellow and white in the process? This could be through her outwitting the diamonds, through her developing her own technology, maybe amping up a gem to stabilize her. We do see in the trailer that she has a weapon that appears to be a scythe, that also functions as a gem to stabilize her as Steven makes contact with it. So maybe one swing of this bad boy is all it needs for the diamonds to go night night for a while. It would not only put this gem in a league of her own, but it would give the diamonds a physical weakness. Something that Steven Universe as a story needs if it's going to continue past this point. The diamonds were the top of the chain, but I can't the series ever continuing without a present threat. So to reassure the audience that the diamonds can't just save the day whenever they want, introducing ways they can be depowered will really keep things fresh. As long as it makes sense and isn't too much of a reach or anything that came out of nowhere. Having them be taken out of commission and bubbled early on to the film, only being recovered towards the end, will keep a consistent feeling of tension going throughout the film. It may sound a bit repetitive of Diamond Days, especially Change Your Mind, where the crystal gems are in that position, but here Steven wouldn't be actively trying to get them to reform. Once they're poofed, Steven is just focused on stopping the gem, not necessarily trying to rescue the diamonds or in a hurry to unbubble them. And hey, they could also just simply have a line where a gem mentions, the diamonds may take the longest to reform out of any gem they've ever met. They are the gem matriarchs. They have to make sure they look stunning. But let's move on into why the reformations are important. After the end of Change Your Mind, the diamonds are no longer considered to be antagonist. They certainly aren't perfect or without flaws. I mean, that was the entire point of Change Your Mind, but they're no longer the big bads that were just itching to see face off with the crystal gems. They're allies and family now. Coupled out the fact that they're no longer living their assigned purpose, it opens the door for a makeover. Like, just take one look at the diamonds. Their designs convey almost everything you need to know about their personality and what parts they command on Homeworld. Yellow Yellow Diamond is militant. She was created to control all of Homeworld's armies, and that is perfectly illustrated through every last detail of her design. There's a reason we thought her hair was a helmet. There's the shoulder pads, the gloves, the very stylish boots. She has a very commanding presence. You look at Blue Diamond, you know she's a sad boy. It makes perfect sense that Blue Gems are diplomatic. Blue Diamond definitely moves for purpose and is soft-spoken. And White Diamond's just God, and I mean, yeah, that is conveyed exceedingly well. But these are molds they no longer have to fit in Era 3. 
I doubt Homeworld will utilize any army. Diplomatic gems will still be needed, probably more than ever, but it won't be for colonizing planets. And White Diamonds can still help gems and make everything better without forcing her will onto everybody through her own literal control. Guys, there's a reason why Pearl rocks a jacket now. When we met her, she looked like a ballerina. Now she's just the cool lesbian mom because her character changed. So while the story already needs an out for the diamonds, it gives them the opportunity to pull off something that needed to be done. Whereas all these gems are being set free from their assigned purpose, the diamonds need to free themselves as well, having their appearance speak for themselves in an entirely new way. But what are some of the changes we could expect, or at least want to see? Well, something I definitely want to cite is to inspiration for this video. A tweet by Mike Kadashu, who is one of the incredibly talented thumbnail artists on this channel. There are three permanent changes I can dream for. Blue loses her eye bags, White has subtle pink blush, yellow takes off her, uh, helmet? Yeah, again, see, fans are still confused on if it's hair or a helmet. And again, that speaks to how well Yellow Diamond was designed. The fact that mistake is made at all. Now, starting with Blue Diamond, I can definitely get behind the idea of her losing her eye bags. Now, I know there's debate out there on if it's eye bags or makeup, as every diamond has different eye makeup, but I mean, look at the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con poster. They look like eye bags. Maybe if the black line wasn't there, I could see it. But no, that's definitely drawn to be a part of her eyes. Something that's there, I guess, naturally, although they're gems. Looking how whatever they want is natural to them, so... Ah, uh, you know what? Gem clothing and appearance and makeup is just confusing. I don't know, largest pirate outfit is made out of gem clothes. Go figure how that works. Either way, if Blue Diamond reformed, it would be the perfect opportunity to eliminate the sad from her appearance. While sure, I'm positive she'll always be the most emotional out of the diamonds, she has closure of pink and a new bond with Steven. It would be nice to visually see her pick up the pieces and put everything back together, starting a new chapter in her life and moving on. Now, when it comes to an outfit change, I'm actually not sure how much I would change about Blue Diamond, although every gem reformation changes her clothing like a little bit. At the very least, Amethyst is a great example of this, so I can imagine them giving Blue Diamond's dress a bit of alterations, but I think it would actually be very cool if, at least when it comes to her hair, Blue actually reforms to look closer to her mural. It'd be a nice little wink and callback, how the designs of the diamonds changed over time, and I get if the crew does not want to let go of her current hairdo. Something else that I found really neat, a month or two back, this fat was going around Reddit taking characters and inverting their eyes, and with Blue Diamond, her bags being inverted into more clear eye makeup actually suited her really well, so that would also be a very welcome change. With Yellow Diamond, I would definitely give her a different wardrobe. Something that this shows Yellow is loosening up a bit. I mean, come on, you saw how much fun she was having at the ending montage and Change Your Mind? That's the Yellow I would love to see more of. And I think when it comes to an alter of her appearance, I would actually give her something close to Sardonyx. Like, you look at Sardonyx's basic design, it already kind of is similar to Yellow Diamond. The shoulder pads, the skirt, but it's a lot more of a casual attire. I definitely wouldn't give Yellow a tuxedo. Maybe something more akin to a yellow business suit wouldn't give her a bow tie, but I hope you get the idea. Now, when it comes to White Diamond, there actually isn't much I wouldn't change about her appearance when it comes to design. I don't know, maybe just change up her cape or her shoes? She's already tall. Does she really need heels? But something I would definitely add, which kind of goes hand in hand with Mike's suggestion, is more color. I would love if White had a perpetual pink blush. Not only would that represent the moment Steven changed her mind and thus the entirety of Homeworld, but it would show she was embracing the colors she tried to repress, especially Pink Diamond. Diamond. Adding yellows and blues somewhere would also be amazing. Maybe that's what they can do with her cape, make it a gradient of white, pink, yellow, and blue. But I think that's all white would really need. Just the addition of some more color. Now you may be wondering, what about Pink Diamond? Yeah, she's gone, but what would her reformation look like? And well, she already did get a reformation when she decided to become Rose Quartz. She already knew of all the wonderful ways you can express yourself through your appearance. How you can become someone entirely new. Yeah, I know that's not the most exciting answer, but hey, she was already ahead of the curve. If anything, the diamonds have to catch up. Ultimately, I truly do believe reformations are in the diamond's future. We've had them as antagonists. We've had them in these outfits for the entirety of the series. Although there have been slight alterations here and there, except for White as she popped up at the very end. And with the original roles and the narrative serving their purpose, a makeover is only appropriate. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? What would you add or something you wouldn't want to see at all? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at Rontable Vids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Austrick 
Voss. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help the rental girl by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please order a like and subscribe to the roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, signing out.